I guess. Today, I'm going to be discussing the 11 most useful Runelight plugins. These are the plugins that make you wish you were back at home on a PC instead of on your phone playing mobile. These are in no particular order, as all of these plugins are important and useful. Let's get right into it. Let's start off with my favorite plugin, Ground Items. This plugin is practically necessary as it displays text above drops from monsters displaying the name of the item and its monetary value. You can customize the colors the text displays and display different colored text for higher valued items. This is by far the most useful general use plugin and one I'd love to see added to mobile and the desktop client at some point. Next, let's talk about the GPU plugin. This is one of the more technically impressive plugins and was released out of nowhere. Normally, old school runs entirely off of your PC's processor, but this plugin allows that load to be put on your graphics card. This also allows you to inject better graphical options, like increasing the render distance, add anti-aliasing, and add a colored skybox that cuts off with fog. This paired with the animation smoothing plugin makes the game graphically look closer to RuneScape 2 than old school, and I love it. On to bank tag tabs. These are like a secondary set of bank tabs that can consolidate your items across tabs into one single tab on the left side of your bank. Do you want to just grab all the items for a farm run, but want to keep a separate seed and rune tab? Tag tabs can bring these items into one single tab while keeping your bank organized. These aren't limited like regular tabs either. You can make as many tabs as you need. This is an extremely useful plugin. I use a tab for farm runs and several tabs for different Slayer tasks. The Shift Click Configuration plugin combined with the Shift Anti-Drag plugin are an incredibly powerful combination. These allow you to change what Shift Clicking items in your inventory does and prevents them from being dragged around your inventory while holding Shift. This is extremely useful for various skilling methods. A good example is chiseling dense essence blocks. I want to click as fast as possible, but my block and chisel keep swapping places. By making both my chisel and block shift click option use, I can rapidly chisel my entire inventory without them swapping place. These plugins are only limited by your creativity. They have uses in PvP, PvM, and skilling. The zoom unlimiter is a fairly simple plugin, but I had to include it due to how much I use it. Being able to further zoom your camera out, combined with the increased render distance of the GPU plugin, brings an incredible amount of utility. The Tile Indicator is another very simple plugin. By holding Shift and right-clicking a tile, that tile can be marked with a uniquely colored box. This is a practically necessary plugin for most high-level bosses and the Inferno. Being able to mark tiles is a useful feature for all aspects of the game, and like the Shift-Click Configurator, is only limited by your creativity. Let's talk about the Clue Scroll Solver. This is one of the more controversial plugins, as it literally solves clue scrolls for you when you open the step. Honestly, this is not much different than just googling each clue step, which I'm pretty sure is what most of you were doing before this plugin was released. This plugin is capable of solving every type of clue scroll, including puzzle, light boxes, and hot or cold steps. Another simple plugin, NPC Tagging, allows you to highlight any NPC in the game, be it an abyssal demon or the wise old man. This has a huge amount of uses. I personally highlight bankers and every farmer you could pay to protect your crops. You can also use it to highlight boss minions like the Zombified Spawn at Vorkath or Flower Buds at Hispori. You can find the list I personally use in the tagged comments down below. The Loot Tracker is incredibly useful for figuring out how much profit you are making from any given monster you are fighting. It displays all loot you have received from any monster you have killed and displays the total GE value. Runelight also now tracks your loot on their web tracker at runelight.net, so make sure you make an account and log in to keep track of all your loot and grand exchange history permanently. The World Hopper is just a vast improvement over the one in the desktop client. You can display all the things a default world switcher can, plus the ping of the world you are accessing relative to you and adds a hot key to allow you to hop between worlds instantly. By default, that's control and shift and right or left respectively. Also, unlike the hopper on other clients, Runelight's hopper won't put you in dangerous worlds or disconnect you if you try to use it in combat. The timers plugin is the reason this list includes 11 entries, as I could not leave it out. It keeps track of all things in game that require real world time to progress. This includes things like all crops and birdhouses and allows you to add your own custom timers or stopwatches. It is capable of displaying either an exact amount of minutes or hours until a patch is finished growing, or it can instead tell you what day and at what time a crop will be finished. This is like the ground items plugin, practically necessary for training farming or for doing birdhouse runs. And that's it for the video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And if this information helped you at all, hit subscribe for more future guides.